Hey babes in Bookland. Today's video is going to be the reading list announcement for my Bukowski Bingo selections. Uh, for those of you who have not heard about Bukowski Bingo, this is a really, really cool game that Paperback Junkie put together. The challenge is to read all six of the Bukowski novels or to read books that have, um, that are related to the themes of those books. So just quickly, I'll list the rules. Uh, so for Ham on Rye, you could either read Ham on Rye or you could read a coming of age story or a book with a sandwich on the cover. So for women, you can read women or read a book that has woman, women, girl, something like that in the title. And then for the factotum challenge, you could read factotum or read a book that has a job or a career or something in the title. Um, post office, read a book that has something postage related or that has something postage related on the cover. So like a stamp or a package, um, a letter, something like that. For Hollywood, you could read a book um, that has something to do with LA or takes place in LA or with film industry, movies, something like that. And then for Pulp, to read a pulp book so or something that came out of a pulp publication so maybe a Lovecraft story or um, something by William Burroughs or Raymond Carver were uh, paperback junkies recommendations for that so uh, without further ado we'll get into it I will be reading Hollywood and post office so I've never read Hollywood before so I'm interested for that and then um, post office. It's been a really, really long time since I've read that. So I'll definitely be picking that up again. So those are the two fulfillments for that. For the rest of them, um, for Ham on Rye selection, I was debating about coming of age stories. So I was debating between Tobias Wolf, uh, This Boy's Life and Lord of the Flies. Um, but I essentially went ahead and picked up or decided to read This Boy's Life. Um, I haven't read the book, but I've seen the movie. And the reason I thought this one would be more appropriate is because Toby Wolf's relationship to his father in this book, I think closely mirrors the relationship that Henry Chinaski has to his father in Ham on Rye. So um, that'll be that selection. For women, I decided to go with her by Lawrence Ferlinghetti. So interestingly, Lawrence Ferlinghetti was one half of the founders of the City Lights bookstore in San Francisco. And City Lights produced a lot of, um, they published a lot of uh, beat poetry and a lot of beat writing. They published work by Allen Ginsberg and Greg Corso and Bob Kaufman and William Carlos Williams. Um, and then also were responsible for creating the uh, Pocket Poets collection, which is probably the most famous format that uh, Howell is published on. They're the real small um, black and white copies. In 1972 also, they published a collection of short stories by Bukowski called Erections, Ejaculations, Exhibitions, and General Tales of Madness. So just title. Ugh, so good. So I thought this would be a good nod for that challenge. I reread Factotum last year, so I decided to go with The Fisherman by Chigozi Obioma. Um, this was shortlisted for the Man Booker in 2013, and I'm glad to finally have an excuse to get around to reading it. So uh, for the pulp selection, I'm going to go ahead and read a graphic novel. Um, so I'll read Black Monday Murders by Jonathan Hickman and Tom Coker. Um, so this is more of like a pulpy noir kind of story. I hope it fulfills the criteria. My hope is that it'll kind of scratch the itch for pulp, but if it doesn't, um, I'm going to go ahead and read Naked Lunch by William S. Burroughs. So I'll also be reading The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton. Uh, for one of my real life book clubs. And this one was a 2013 Man Booker Award winner. And then I'm also going to be reading N.K. Jessman's The Fifth Season. 
which was a 2015 Hugo Award winner. So <laughs> lots of award winners in our midst. But um, I think that those will definitely keep me busy and um, the luminaries is not going to be one of those I have to read it by the end of the month kind of projects I think it's going to kind of be a longer ongoing project with this book club but those are the books that I'll be reading for the month of February um, like I said if you guys are not familiar with paperback junkies channel I highly suggest checking it out I think as far as um, voices on booktube and people on booktube he's definitely one of the most unique and distinctive i think in terms of the types of books that he reads and recommends so um yeah something different and cool so definitely go check it out and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you soon bye